Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. We have an unboxing video. And why that's there and that's there will become clear when we get what's in the box out of the box. So without further ado, let's um, open the box. Oh, take the money. Open the box. I'll show your age if you know what that is. Right. So what have we got then? It's not a tree. All that box and packing for that. What we've got is organic rooting gel. I do have some hormone rooting powder, but I reckon it's five or six years old. I'm not sure if it would still work. And also, for what I want to use this for, gel is going to work better. I won't say it will actually produce better results, but it will be easier to do what I want to do. So, having got the rooting gel, what's it for? What's it for is this juniper, which the tree, the bonsai, is in there. This is where the bonsai is. All this is foliage that's been left to grow, which has helped to thicken that trunk, but was left on in case somebody wants to produce some air layers. And this somebody does want to produce some air layers. And it'll be the first time this somebody has ever produced any air layers. So I'm a little bit, you know, <laughs> but nonetheless, this will be an air layer, this one up here. Um, obviously clear the base off, the air layer will go here. And I'll have to decide which other ones. And I can only decide which other ones when I look at where they are as, as relating to the structure of the tree. For instance, this branch here is right on an outside bend and would make a very good branch in the final design of this tree. Yeah? Um, I've already decided that one's going to go. So we've now decided that this one's going to stay. It won't stay that long, but it's got a good amount of branch structure and it is at the beginning of the... Um, got a lot of flipping wildlife coming out of this tree. <laughs> Under normal circumstances I'd be happy for it to stay, but not in here with the orchids. And then there's another branch down here, which is round the back, effectively, here. Um, so is that weed? Notice that. Um, so that one may or may not stay. It does dip down quite badly, or, or quite well, you know, it would depend on the design. But really, I think I need to get the air layers done and get them off the tree and then I can work on what's left. So I'm not going to work on this tree this year. All I'm going to do is two or three air layers and get them off. Now the plan for the air layers, my original idea, was to do some, what's it called? Tanuki? Where you get the dead wood and, and you wrap up like a, what becomes like a live vein around the dead wood. Um, and it makes a, you know, a, a sort of <laughs> a sapling, in effect, a whip, look like a really old tree. That was the plan. And I've spent hours and hours and hours searching online in all sorts of nooks and crannies to try and find a decent bit of dead wood, and I can't find any. I just can't find anything that's going to work. You know, when I look at some of the pieces that other people have done, I... I I go to a show, the first thing I think when I look at one of those type, you know, one of those works, effectively, I look at the piece of Deadwood and I think, where on earth did you get that? And where can I get some? So answers on the postcard, please, or preferably in the comments. Or if you, if you live in the UK and you've got some that you want to sell, send me a picture. <laughs> 
but I'm having real trouble. Um, you know, I can't see me finding a decent bit on the beach. And the beaches round our area, you know, um, which would be Muddyford, Hengsbury Head, Southbourne, they've got wardens walking up and down. You're not even allowed to, you know, the kids aren't even allowed to collect the seashells anymore. It all has to be left for the enjoyment of everybody. So uh, that's out of order. And I don't know anywhere where I could get freshwater driftwood, not in this area. You know, so I'm, I'm stuck. I just cannot find a decent bit of dead wood. I would only need one. I would only do this once. And I would use the, the two or three pieces to, to start at different points on the dead wood. Like one round the back that would come round sort of and, you know, and then one at the front that would be the, what looks like the, the main live vein and perhaps another one off to the side. Three, maybe. But without the dead wood, it's a non-starter, isn't it? So I don't know what to do. But we'll get the air layers done because if I do those reasonably soon, which I will, um, sounds like, you know, looking at other people and reading up, it sounds like this is a good time to start the air layers. And Juniper's air layer quite well and quite quickly. So the air layers will be off probably mid-summer, yeah, mid to late summer, which means I can then look at the main structure of what's left and design the tree. It's not going to get repotted this year, it's going to stay in its um, flower pot. Uh, that will be a job for next spring. So uh, anyway, that's what this is for, rooting gel to help with the air layers, which is hopefully going to produce a work of art sometime down the line when I can get the piece of white dead wood to stick the bits of tree on. <laughs> All good fun. See you next time. Thanks for dropping by. If you're watching this and you've got to this point and you're not subscribed, it would be nice if you did so. I'm trying to grow the channel. And don't forget, see you next time. Bye for now.